Pope Francis, as well as Christians worldwide, recited the Lord's Prayer on Wednesday to ask God to stop the coronavirus, which has infected nearly half a million people. The pandemic also disrupted countless lives and shut down churches as well as other public venues. Francis invited all other Christian leaders and individual Christians on Sunday to recite the Our Lord, Our Father prayer simultaneously at noon Italian time on Wednesday. There are more than 420,000 cases of COVID-19 reported across 196 countries. About 19,000 deaths are linked to the virus. The Holy See Press Office confirmed on March the 24th that four people uh, that either work for the Vatican or live within the Vatican City State uh, have been infected with the coronavirus. Uh, that's up from the one that we knew about uh, from about two weeks ago. Uh, the three that they mentioned in addition to that one yesterday are uh, two people who work at the Vatican Museums and one who works in another Vatican office. Uh, so that is the, the latest from the Holy See on uh, the number of cases from within the Vatican. They also said that they have a reporting structure in place so that when people have symptoms, uh, and they, they report up and are able to be tested by the Health and Hygiene Office of the Vatican. Uh, there was also mention in the same uh, statement that the four people who were infected are either in uh, health structures or are in quarantine at home. Uh, the Holy See uh, also released a statement yesterday saying that the Vatican offices still uh, continue to work, doing essential work to maintain the Petrine ministry, the ministry of Pope Francis, uh, but that all uh, people who can are limiting their travel and also working as much as they can from home. So they have what they call here in Italy a smart working possibility, which is like teleworking. And uh, just as it applies to the rest of Italy, it now applies uh, also to uh, the Holy See.